Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, you will learn how you can send files from Google Form responses as attachments on email automatically. So this automation can save a ton of your time and manual efforts, which otherwise you have to spend on manually taking the form submission details and manually compiling mails to send to anyone. So we can set up this automation without any coding super easily. So to learn this automation, stay tuned. Let's get started. To set up the workflow, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli. And you can find the same link in the description. From here, you can sign up for free. And after that, you can sign in to reach the dashboard. From here, click on this Create Workflow button. Here, you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So let me give the name here. So I have given this name. Now let me click on Create button. And you can see the workflow page is loading up. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up any automation. Trigger is that event which starts the workflow and the action is the automated response of the trigger event. So when you click on this trigger section, it will ask to choose the application where the trigger event is going to occur. So in our use case, guys, we are collecting data using Google Forms. So Google Forms will be our trigger application. So search for Google Forms here okay. and the trigger event would be a new response received. Okay. So then it will provide you this webhook URL. So with the help of this URL, you can follow these instructions written here to create the connection with Google Forms. Every Google Forms is attached with a spreadsheet in Google Sheets application. So whenever someone fills a Google Form, the response is captured in a spreadsheet in Google Sheets. So, I, so with the help of this URL, we are going to connect that spreadsheet in which the response is coming from the Google Forms. Okay. So for this, let's follow these instructions. So guys, let me just open the form. This is the form I am using. Let me show you. So this is the Google form I have created. And here I have asked for these questions an identity proof, which is a file name, email, mobile number, designation, gender, and role. Okay. And these responses are uh, capturing here in this spreadsheet named as new staff documents docs. Okay. Here are the response getting captured. Now let me open this spreadsheet in an incognito window. So guys, I have opened this spreadsheet in incognito mode because I am using multiple Google accounts in the same browser. So if you are also doing this, it is better to open it here so that we can make the connection properly. Now here guys click on this extensions option right here from here click on this add ons and then click on get add ons and from this Google workspace marketplace window install an add on which is called as Pabli P A B B L Y Pabli connect web hooks. Okay, search for it and install it. So it will just take two minutes and after installing it, you need to refresh the spreadsheet. That is an important step. <laughs> And after refreshing the spreadsheet, when you click on extensions, you will find the Pabli Connect Webhooks option available here in the drop down like this. From here, you need to click on this initial setup. Inside the initial setup, you will find these two fields, the webhook URL and the trigger column. So guys, in the webhook URL field, you have to paste the URL that you got from Pabli Connect Workflow. And in the trigger column, you have to mention the final data column name on which if the data is added, the whole of that row will be sent to the webhook URL. Okay. So here the final column is this H column. You can see because the data is going to arrive starting from column A, then B, then C, then D and E, F. And finally, the data will arrive at the H column and that is going to trigger the workflow. Okay. So let me just cop. Let me just enter here capital H in the trigger column. And then let me copy the webhook URL that we got from the workflow. Okay, so you can see I have copied the URL and here it started showing waiting for the webhooks response. This means now you can perform a test submission. Test submission means now we need to bring some test data from our spreadsheet to here in this workflow. And with the help of that data, we are going to move forward. So to bring the data, just go back to the spreadsheet's initial setup paste the URL here like this and here click on this send test button. So when you click on send test, the data of the first row that you have uh, saved here as the response will be sent to the workflow as the test data. Let me show you. 
I have clicked on send test. This is the response we have received, test data sent successfully. Then click on submit. Okay, you can see the setup is configured. Now you can close this window, right? Now you can go back to the workflow and here you can see we have received the response like this. Okay, it started showing the designation writer, email address, gender, ID proof. We got in the ID proof, you can see we have received this link. Okay, so whenever uh, someone is going to submit the form, you are going to receive the URL of a file that you want that you have asked here. You can see I have asked for a file. So whenever someone is going to upload the file, you will get the response in the form of this Google Drive's link. Okay. And that Google Drive's link will appear here in the response like this. Okay. Now guys, uh, the next step would be to send this data as an email. Now to send an email, we are going to connect with Gmail application. But before connecting with Gmail here, we need to do one thing here. You can see we have received the uh, fi file link in this format. So this is a open Google Drive link. Okay, open link for Google Drive. But I want to send the file as an attachment. For creating an attachment link, we, ne we are going to use a export URL. Okay, let me show you how to create export URL. So guys, here you can see in this Google Drive link, we have an file ID here you can see in this link after this question mark ID equals to we have this string of integers and alphabets this is called a file ID so we need to separate this file ID to create a export link okay for this I am going to use this action window and here I am going to connect with text formatter with the help of text formatter I am going to uh, separate this ID from this link okay so here in the action event, select replace text option, replace text. Okay, then click on connect button. And here it is asking to fill the text you would like to find and replace values within. Okay, so here I'm going to map this identity proof label. Okay, so to map it here, just click on this text field and the previous step will appear in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will find the data right here. So from here, map this identity proof label. Okay. And here it is asking, which is the thing that you want to find. So guys, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to copy the URL starting from this HTTP word. And I'm going to select it from uh, till this equals to sign. Okay. And I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here in this find field. So this find field is going to fi find this text in this text and you can replace this with anything that you want. But I just want to remove this to get this file ID. To remove this, just keep this replace field blank and this will be removed and you will get the file ID only. Let me show you. Here I'm clicking on save and send test request button. And here you can see we got this result label and here it is showing the file ID only. Okay, starting from one six and uh, all the things. Here you can see this thing, this, the first part uh, till this equals to is removed. Okay, and we got the file ID. Now we can use it. Just click here on this plus icon. So here in this section step, now I'm going to search for Gmail. Okay, select it and then select the action event as send email then click on connect from here keep uh, this existing connection option selected if you are already connected with gmail or if you want to create a new connection just select this new connection option then click on connect with gmail button and it will bring you to the sign in window of gmail account from here you have to select that account from which you want to send the email so select the account then you have to provide some additional access to your account so click on continue from here and you will be connected with gmail okay you can see the authorization is successful and we are now connected here it is asking for the recipient's email address so guys to fill the recipient address here the recipient would be you you if you want to check 
how you are getting the data of the form responses you can enter your email address here or if you want to send the data back to the form submitter to get it reviewed you can just map the uh, email address that you have received from the form submission so let's do this I'm just going to map the email ID of the form submitter from the trigger step here you can see we have this trigger and we have this email label I'm going to map it here from the first step map the email address okay then it is asking for the sender's name so you can put your name so I've entered the send name as team Google forms okay you can enter uh, any name you want here in the email subject you can type any subject I'm just typing here okay then it will ask for selecting that email content type so here I am selecting plain type and here in the email content you need to type the email that you want to send okay so let me type a email here so guys I have written this email you can see uh, I have written dear we have received your form submission successfully you have submitted the following details so guys after dear I am going to map the name of the person to whom we are addressing and here I am going to map some of the details I have received in, in the form if you want to send all the details back you can map all the details so guys when you map the data here like this what will happen whenever you are going to receive any new form response the labels will be updated here and the fresh data will be sent back in the email okay so that's why we map the data and here i have written the file that you have uploaded is uploaded is attached in this email so in this file name field you can give a name to this file using the form responses data so i am um, mapping uh, the file name as this i am mapping the name then i'm putting id underscore and after that i'm going to put pdf okay dot pdf as the files extension you can read in the example okay that's how you can create a name and here it is asking for the attachment so in this attachment you need to map the export url link of the google drive so let me show you how you can create a link so guys this is how you can create an export link you can see the link that we have received in the trigger is in this form and this was a uh, google dot uh, sorry drive dot google dot com slash open question mark id and then we have this file id here i have separated out the file id okay in this result label now we can map this result label here in this export link so here in this export link we have uc question mark export equal to download and id equal to here you need to map the id from the second step okay so this link is a downloadable file link okay now you can check your connection with gmail by clicking on save and send test request button so guys here i am going to click on save and send test request button and a new email with this attachment will be received here in this inbox let us check here i am clicking on save and send test request button so this is the response we have received let's check in our inbox if we have received a new email and here you can see guys we have received a new email with the sender's name as team google forms subject is form submission received mail is this new dear new staff docs okay so i have mapped the wrong name here not to worry just let me change the name label here okay then it will be uh, good okay and here you can see we have a file attachment here and you can see this is the same file named as test name id dot pdf and here you can see this is the same name i have written here and this is a downloadable link you can see i have received so a person can download this file here like this in the pdf format okay this is how it is going to work guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel